Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new guide and today we're going to be looking at how to create a perfect storage solution in your new factories. Though I'll be specifically looking at how to run the logistics of a storage uh, covering an automated or, uh, sorting system and my preferred storage solution, we will also touch on some decoration that you can do for them with update 5 here. So guys, if you do find this video helpful, why not help the channel out by dropping a like and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. But first off, let's touch on what a dedicated storage area is for and also why you should use them. Put simply, a storage area is a dedicated area or warehouse that stores all your items but also makes them easily available for you to collect. This allows you to find the required resources easily, whilst also stopping the need for you to run across all your different factories to collect the said items. When it comes to where you should place one, ideally it would be situated near your hub to give you access to your resources, or for people who join your game to qu quickly collect them and easily. Alternatively, you can do it near a transport hub if you've got all of your storage coming in via train stations and trains. That being said, you can also construct storage areas dedicated to building materials throughout your map near your main factory areas. This saves you going back and forth over long distances, although some people tend to opt for a train that is dedicated to holding your construction items. This makes it easy to go back and forth to base, but also allows you a large storage of items to go wherever you go so that you can build big factories. Now when it comes to storage, there are two main approaches. You can either transport each item individually to your storage on dedicated lines, or you can bring all the items in on a one or two mixed item line and then dictate where they go. They both have their negatives and their positives to using them. So for example, with dedicated lines, this means that items won't get mixed up. However, when you merge surplus lines to go to the sink, you may reach the maximum items on a belt, causing your lines to back up. These also take longer to set up as you're dealing with more belt work. So how do you set up a dedicated line? Well, first set up your storage boxes, then place a smart splitter flowing into the storage, and then choose a second output on the smart splitter to set to overflow. Any excess items will be sent to the sink from here. Now I find it personally easiest to run a sink line above the smart splitter and then flowing towards the sink. This will allow you to merge with other dedicated resource lines which you should set up now. And when it comes to that um, merging line, you can easily, if it's above the smart, li smart splitter line, just use an elevator to connect them. Now each of these dedicated resource lines should be placed to the side of the one previous. This will give you plenty of space to work with. So for smaller factories, this works fine. However, if you have a much larger factory that is bringing in resources according to the throughput of a belt, and for example, the max belt tier being 780 items, if you're bringing that through on each line, once your storage fills up or your storage unit fills up, you're going to start to have um, bottlenecks. The, the resources are going to back up. So for that, you may need to add a second separate merging line, or if you are doing it to the max throughput of a line, it's going to be best to have a dedicated awesome sink for each of your lines. On the flip side, however, mix the lines, limit your throughput to the items entering your, your factory on a given belt. This is often used to send surplus items from manufacturing lines to a dedicated storage area before being sent to the sink. This means that your overflow belt will never oversaturate as you've already got a throughput limit or limiter on the single or double belts that are coming into the factory. So to do this mixed belt storage system, you'll want to place down your storage units as we did before, and behind each of these storage uh, units, we're going to place a smart splitter blowing from the entrance side to the end of the storage area. 
The smart splitter output that is next to the storage unit should be uh, set as the specific item you want it to be. For example, iron plates, or iron rods, etc. And then the middle path, which is heading on to the next smart splitter, will be set to overflow. This forces the items to either be placed into the storage area or overflown to the next smart splitter, which will then be sorting using the same system. And at the end of this line, you'll have the resources all being overflown, sent to the awesome sink to generate those coupons for us. Now, I should mention at this point, there is no necessity for the use of programmable splitters currently, and the smart splitters are unlocked by researching Caterium Quickwire in the MAM. Alternatively, you can do a hybrid system, which would have the same perks as doing a dedicated line, whilst also receiving any excess resources from your manufacturing process. Now to do this, run both a dedicated line as we've done before, using this time industrial storage units, if you use the smaller ones prior, and then to the side of this, the mixed line entering the factory. However, the dedicated lines sinks line should be placed at this time above the max height of the storage unit because we're going to want to use both of these entrances. We'll then run the mixed lines dedicated resource line into the top section of the industrial storage unit. And if the storage unit is full, what you'll see is that the mixed line will continue to run efficiently, running the resources into the sink in front of it, or, or the smart splitting line in front of it, and then into the sink to help you generate those coupons. When it comes to decoration for your storage area, you can see that I have placed foundations into the storage units so that the Pioneer walking height is in line with the top storage unit. I've also placed signs on the front of the storage unit so that we know what item is in each section. Now for added detail, I've placed the lights through the opposing walls to light up the area. And we also have signs that are painted white above and below and then cut walls into the storage units to give it a cleaner look. We also have decals to add a little bit of detail, which personally I think looks great. And then behind all of this, I've added some glass roofs to give us a spectating area, whilst also giving you the opportunity to walk into the actual sorting floor next door to this. It's a very simple system to set up, which arguably looks great in my eyes. So there you are, guys. If you did find this video helpful, don't forget to help me out by dropping a like. And if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity, Cerebral Tag and James Irwin, as well as our Lunas, Dixie Chris and Lord of July, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Papa Snoozy. Anyway guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.